Let's go over our independent practice, the first one. Uh, the first fraction is 16 thirds. So the key is to make a couple of shapes into thirds that you can then uh, count up until you have 16. So I'm gonna make my first shape that has thirds. These are nice thirds, one, two, three. And I'm just gonna write three thirds. I need to keep going because three is not at 16. Then four, five, six. And I'm just gonna write three thirds underneath. I'm at six thirds right now. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna keep going because I'm not at sixteen yet. Thirteen. 14, 15, still not at 16, and then 16. I'm there. I've now made 16 thirds, and I'm just going to write 3 thirds here, 3 thirds here, and 1 third, since there's only one part shaded in out of the three parts here as my fraction. So now I'm going to count up all my whole pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are all the shapes with each part shaded in, so they are whole. Five, and then I have my one third. So 16 thirds equals five and one third. Five, one, two, three, four, five, and one third. Looking at number two, I have ninths. So this is gonna get a little tricky. I'm gonna make a box here with three, like one, two, three, and then I'm gonna do three, one, two, three, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna start shading until I get to 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need to make another one. This is nine ninths. Now I need to make another shape with nine equal parts. And I'm gonna, I start at nine since I already have nine and I'm getting to 10. 10, ooh, I'm there, nice. So now I'm gonna count up how much, what fraction does this shape represent? Well, there's one part shaded out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total parts. So this fraction right here, just the one that now I'm looking at that's not covered up is one ninth. This here is nine ninths since every part of the, of the shape is shaded in. So now I'm gonna count up my whole parts where the fraction is the same on the top and the bottom and it has every part shaded in. I have one of those. And then I'm gonna look at my fraction that's left over, one ninth. 10 ninths is equivalent to one and one ninth. Looking at our last problem, 19 fourths, I'm gonna now make some boxes that have four equal parts. I'm gonna start shading one until I get to 19. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make another box. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna make another box. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I stop. I'm not gonna fill in this last one because I'm already at 19. Now I'm gonna write a fraction for each shape that I have. One, two, three, four of four parts. One, two, three, four. Four parts shaded of four equal parts. Four parts shaded of four equal parts four parts shaded of four equal parts, and then three parts out of four parts shaded. Four fourths, four fourths, four fourths, four fourths, three fourths. Now I'm gonna count my holes. One, two, three, four. There are four holes with all the parts shaded in, and then there's one, two, three fourths. So then three fourths goes right here as my proper fraction. Try on your independent practice looking to see people who improve.